hello students i hope uh, you all are doing good and preparing well for uh, kcet exam okay so today's video is uh, on limits and continuity chapter so we will be solving previous year questions that were asked from this chapter so the weightage of uh, this uh, chapter is around 3 to 4 marks so this is a scoring chapter you can easily gain this 3 to 4 marks with a uh, good practice so practice is important uh, uh, one more thing i would suggest you is pause the video and try to solve the question on your own and if you are not able to, only then look at the solution. Okay, let's start. So here we have got uh, the value of f of x at x, x not equal to 0. It is sin 3x divided by e power 2x minus 1. And at x equal to 0, it is k minus 2. And it is saying us that the function is continuous at x equal to 0, then k equal to. So uh, let's uh, extract what we have got from the question. So they are telling us at uh, x equal to 0 the function is continuous that means sin 3x divided by e power 2x minus 1 is equal to k minus 2 as the function is continuous at x equal to 0 so uh, the limit is equal to f of 0 f of 0 is k minus 2 okay let me substitute and check what do i get sin 0 divided by e power 0 minus 1 so this is nothing but 0 by 0 form right so okay so if we get these kind of cases, 0 by 0 form, there is a rule that we can apply to solve. So what is that rule? It is L hospital rule. What is L hospital rule? L hospital rule is whenever we get 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, the limit value, what we can do is we can differentiate the numerator and the denominator. Okay. So we will be doing the same thing. We will be... Uh, different uh, differentiating the numerator and the denominator so let me just write that down so that it is clear differentiation of numerator and differentiation of denominator okay differentiation of sin 3x is cos 3x 3x is 3 chain rule of uh, differentiation e power 2x is e power 2x to differentiation of 2x is 2 so what do i get on substituting x equal to 0 this becomes cos 0 3 divided by e power 0 into 2 cos 0 is 1 so this is nothing but 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is equal to k minus 2 so if i uh, solve this i'll get uh, what 3 by 2 plus 2 which is nothing but 7 by 2 so the value of k is 7 by 2 so correct answer is 7 by 2 okay so there is some mistake uh, actually this should be 7 not 9 uh, sorry this should be 7 by 2 the correct answer is option a and it is 7 by 2 there is some uh, mistake Okay. moving on okay so this is a similar question what we have done just the you have to evaluate the limit at x equal to 1 so i would suggest you to try this question and then look at the solution part please okay okay so let me write uh, the function is continuous at 1 so limit at 1 is log base e x divided by x minus 1 equal to k okay so if i substitute the value of 1 what do i get log 1 by 1 minus 1 log 1 is 0 so it is 0 by 0 form so i can apply the l hospital rule so differentiating the numerator i get 1 by x differentiating the denominator i get 1 so i get 1 by x now i'll substitute uh, the limit 1 substitute x equal to 1 so 1 equal to k so that was an easy question so the correct answer is option b so you can expect a similar question in the KCET exam. There is most probable chance that you can expect a question where you have to apply L hospital rule. For applying L hospital rule, the condition is it should be in 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form. Only then you can differentiate the numerator and differentiate the numerator and solve. Okay. So this is a very important rule that you can make a note of and a very uh, handy tool, I can say. Uh, moving on. Okay, this is an interesting question. So, this question is a limit question. So, uh, how to approach these kind of questions? Okay. So, we have this formula for limit. Okay. Uh, x tends to a. x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a is equal to n a n minus 1. Everyone knows this formula. Okay. So, we need to make changes so that this becomes in this form. Okay. How we can make? So, there is a substitution that we can make. If I take k equal to 3 plus y cube. Okay. So, if y is tending to 0, what will happen to my k? k will tend to 3, right? 
everyone agrees if y y becomes 0 what will happen to my k k will uh, tend to 3 right so i will be substitute making a substitution so limit k equal to 3 so my 3 plus y square becomes k minus root 3 what is my y cube from this i can take out what is y cube y cube is nothing but k minus 3 so i'll just substitute so see this is in this form everyone agrees let me just write it again so limit k equal to 3 k to the power of 1 by 2 minus 3 to the power of 1 by 2 k minus 3 so i have to just apply that formula 1 by 2 n a a is my 3 n minus 1 1 by 2 minus 1 so that is nothing but uh, minus 1 by 2 so it is 3 power minus 1 by 2 what is minus 1 by 2 2 root 3 that root 3 will come in the denominator okay so the correct answer is option a so this was a very good question so this was asked uh, uh, in last year only okay so this is how you can approach the question so you know you have to apply this formula how will you apply so you have to make changes you have to simplify it simplify the given question so that it comes in the standard form and then we can apply the formula okay moving on uh, okay so here they are telling we have got an uh, uh, the information about a function f of x which is equal to x square minus 1 when it is between 0 to 2 and 2x plus 3 when it is uh, in between 2 to 3 right the quadratic equation whose roots are limit left hand limit and right hand limit okay so we have to find uh, let alpha and beta be the roots okay so they are telling us alpha is the left hand limit okay sorry alpha let alpha be the left hand limit and beta be the uh, right hand limit okay so we have to just find out so x for the left hand limit when two uh, when x is less than two so when x is less than two, two the definition of function is x square minus one so limit x tends to two minus x square minus one so if i substitute two in this two square minus one which is four minus one three similarly my right hand limit when x is greater than two what is the uh, definition of function it is 2x plus 3 so i have to just substitute that 2x plus 3 what do i get 2 2 are 4 7 okay so the two roots are 3 and 7 using these roots i have to write the equation okay so if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation we know that the quadratic equation is given like this I'll sum of the x square minus sum of the roots plus product of the roots I have to just sub substitute here x square minus sum of the roots is nothing but 10x and product of the roots is 7, uh, 21. So which of the following matches? The correct answer is option 2, option B. Okay. So first using the limits we found out the uh, roots and using the roots uh, we, we found our quadratic equation. So this was a multi-concept question. Okay. Moving on. Uh, okay. If f from r to r be defined by f of x so when x is greater than 3 2x when x is between 1 and 3 x square and when x is less than 1 it is 3x so they are just asking us okay so how to approach these kind of questions so let us uh, write the function how it is defined at different points so at, let me call this 1 and let me call this 3 when it is greater than 3 the definition of function is 2x when it is between 1, uh, one and 3 it is x square for less than 1 it is 3x okay so uh, what is f of minus 1 f of minus 1 is here right and uh, f of 2 our uh, 2 is between 1 and 3 and f of 4 which is greater than 3 so what will be my f of 1 it will be 3x no i have to apply here 3x because minus 1 is less than 1 okay so 3 times of minus 1 i have to apply this formula here for f of 2 i have to apply x square so 2 square plus for f of 4 i have to apply 2x Oh, sorry so 2x meaning 2 times of 4 okay so this is how you have to evaluate you have to just apply the uh, function whatever the function is defined for that uh, domain okay 
so minus 3 plus 4 plus 8 what do I get 12 minus 3 which is 9 so correct answer is option B so it is an easy question they have they have defined the function at different points for greater than 3 for between 1 and 3 and for less than 1 so we wrote down whatever the function definition was and accordingly correspondingly we found out what is the function values for the uh, whatever was given in the question so this was a pretty easy question okay moving on okay uh, the value of c in mean value theorem for the function f of x equal to x square in 2 comma 4 is okay uh, so what what does mean value theorem say that uh, between a comma b there will be one point c such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a this is what our mean value theorem says right okay so let me just find out uh, what is that point the value of c in the mean value theorem okay so our a and b is a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4 f of 4 minus f of 2 divided by 2 what is f of 4 uh, 16 what is f of 2 uh, x 2 square which is 4 16 minus 4 by 2 12 by 2 is 6 okay so f dash is c c is 6 okay uh, okay so what is differentiation what is f of x is x square what is f dash of x f dash of x is 2x okay so i have to substitute 2x equal to 6 then i'll get x equal to 3 so at x equal to 3 uh, is the our value of c okay okay at this point uh, the uh, the uh, the slope the tangent at uh, x equal to 3 is equal to the tangent of the chord joining these points right joining uh, these two points 2 comma 4 say 2 is here and 4 is here say they are defined like this whatever the slope of this line is so uh, uh, slope of the graph at this point c also is that thing say the graph is something like this so at this point also the slope is same so that is what that point we needed to find out so the correct answer is option d okay moving on uh, okay so the definition of function for x less than 2 kx square for x greater than 2 it is 3 is continuous at x equal to 2 then the value of k is okay if the function is continuous at x equal to 2 that means limit exists at 2 that also means that left hand limit is equal to right hand limit right so we will be making use of this information so what is the left hand limit at x equal to uh, 2 so let me write that down so for less than 2 it is kx square for greater than 2 it is 3 so just just substitute what is x k 2 square uh, here there is nothing this is a constant function so k is equal to 3 by 4 so this was a pretty easy question the correct answer is option b moving on okay so this is a slightly difficult question i can say so the function definition f of x for between minus 1 and 0 is this root of 1 plus kx minus root of 1 minus kx and 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So this function is continuous at 0 then the value of k is okay. So what is our left hand limit? So for less than 0 the function definition is 1 plus kx minus 1 minus kx divided by x so if you check this out if i substitute x equal to 0 in this equation i'll get 0 by 0 form okay so when i get 0 by 0 form i can apply the l hospital rule so i'll just differentiate my numerator and denominator so on differentiating the numerator differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x and differentiation of 1 plus kx is nothing but k differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x and differentiation of minus kx is minus kx okay and differentiation of x is 1 as you all know now if i substitute x equal to 0 what do i get i get k by 2 plus k by 2 which is nothing but k so this is equal to my 
uh, right hand limit right hand limit is nothing but 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 i have to just substitute x with 1 2 plus 1 1 minus 1 okay so uh, i have to evaluate sorry sorry x is equal to 0 right so we are doing uh, so this is our sorry this is our uh, right hand limit at 0 so right hand limit we have to just substitute x equal to 0 right 2 plus 1 divided by 0 minus 1 so it is minus 1 so k is equal to minus 1 so what we have done here we have actually uh, equated left hand limit with the right hand limit that's it okay uh, and we have applied a hospital rule and we were able to solve the question moving on okay the function f of x equal to step x where x is the greatest integer function is continuous at okay so what is the greatest integer function so let me plot the graph so greatest integer function let me just write how does that look okay one two three for all the values between less than 1 the function value is so we have to write the function definition right for less than 1 the value of the function is 0 for greater than 1 for x value between 1 and 2 and less than 2 and greater than 1 the value of the function is 1 so here for less than 1 so this is my uh, range right for 1, I have to put a circle here because at 1, the value of the function is 1, not 0. Again, till 2, the value of the function is 1 only. Again, here I have, there is a break. There is again a jump because f of 2 is 2. And for all the points in between 2 and 3, say 2.5, f of 2.5 is only 2. So this goes on. So what do you observe? So this function is not continuous at integers, right? At integers it is discontinuous so the points of discontinuity are the integers the function is continuous at other points between integers it is continuous right so the greatest integer function is discontinuous is discontinuous at integers this is important this thing you should know just remember this okay okay so you see 4 is an integer 2 is an integer minus 2 is an integer 1 is an integer but 1.5 is not an integer that means it will be continuous right because see at 1.5 the function is continuous okay the function is continuous so the correct answer is option a 1.5 okay okay so that was the last question so see uh, continuity and limits is a very easy uh, topic there are very few formulas so just you need to understand the concept and you need to know how to apply that so th that will come only with regular practice if you can practice more questions on this you have to no, you have to only do the textbook questions and the exemplar book and try to solve all the previous year questions that past 10 year previous year questions of kcet and comet year that would be enough and you can easily score these three to four marks okay i can guarantee you that you can easily score these three to four marks simple questions will come and definitely you can expect one question most probably on l hospital group. okay so this this rule you can just write it down somewhere and remember that rule uh, you can expect a question from there okay if this session was helpful and uh, if you were able to learn something new or uh, it was if uh, some concept was you got some clarity in some concept you can please like the uh, like this video and also subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates you can also join my telegram group where uh, you can ask me doubts uh, i'll i'll help you and i uh, help you in solving them okay uh, thank you and uh, please put uh, in the comment section tell me how this how how was this session so that uh, i i i i come to know uh, whether this session is helping you or not okay so please in the comment uh, give your opinion.